This vision came when the war was severe and we held on to the vision for nine years. And on, in 2009, April 19th night, we were praying in the official bungalow of the then commander of the Air Force, Marshal of the Air Force, Roshan Gunatilaka, who is now the governor of the Western Province. We were praying in his house. It was a dismal day, a difficult day, because for some months, the terror leader had kept in captivity a human shield of nearly 350,000 civilians, and the army couldn't penetrate. It was a dismal moment. Uh, so the then Air Force Command, our friend, uh, Billy Wayne, the fellow house, we were concerned, his wife, uh, my wife, and we started praying in his official bungalow. Time was about 9.30 p.m. maybe. Uh, in his house it was, and it was April 19th, 2000, no, 2009, April 19th. And this is the uh, prophecy we had, and I'll explain the vision we saw. The prophecy we had was uh, Joel 2, verse 18. Then the Lord will be zealous for his land. We said, this is our land, Sri Lanka. And will have pity on his people, our people, Sri Lanka. Joel 2, 19. The Lord will answer and say to his people, us, Behold, I am going to send you grain, new wine, oil, and you will be satisfied in full with them. We are holding on to this promise during COVID times. And I will never again make you a reproach among the nations. And you know what a reproach we were. Thank God, war ended. And with the first COVID wave gone, everybody was saying, what a beautiful nation Sri Lanka is. And we became the best destination in many travel magazines because we had overcome COVID so well. But now we had the problem again. But I will remove. Now, this in 2000, April, we got this prophecy. It got fulfilled 2009, April 19. That's why you need to listen for the window of hope. Say with me, window of hope that Sri Lanka has. Joel 2.20. I will remove the northern army far from you. Can anything be more specific? And I will drive it into a parched and desolate land and its vanguard into the eastern sea and its rear guard into the western sea. We know that force went out of the eastern sea at Putumatala. And its stench will arise and its foul smell will come up for it has done monstrous things. Read it in the New King James Version. The monstrous things will come to an end. The Lord will drive it out. We know from Mana, Kilnochi, Vishumadu, uh, Iranamadu, uh, and from Dharmapuram and Put Putukidur and Putmatalan that it was driven out. And that night, this is what we saw. My wife was praying and she said, I see a vision. Before this escape happened, same night at about 10 o'clock it may be, she saw, she said, I see people coming through a waterway and with stuff keeping their things on, on the head and they look as if they are walking in a, a, in a procession, a funeral procession. They look somber, they look sad, worried. Large numbers of people coming through water and she said the terrain looks like sandy and with, uh, and with short pushers, she said. And we know, we later realized this is Nantikadal Lagoon. So our friend said, and that was 10 o'clock. She saw the vision. By 12 midnight, uh, Sri Lankan army had breached through the defenses and made, they had made a tunnel through and it came surfaced and 70,000 people came out that night. Next day, the UAV showed on national television, live broadcasting, the vision my wife had seen with people coming out in the next 72 hours, 350,000 civilians were, were delivered out of the hand of terrorism. So God gave a prophecy, God gave a window, but the window of hope continues. Do not fear, O land. Joel 2.21, we want to speak to Sri Lanka today. Do not fear, O land. 
Sri Lanka. Rejoice and be glad. And the Lord has done great things, marvelous things. Do not fear, beasts of the field, for the pasture of the wilderness have turned green, for the tree has borne its fruit. The fig tree and the wine have yielded its fruit. O oh, sons of Zion, be glad in the Lord your God. He has given you the early rain for your vindication. We want to say sons of Sri Lanka. God has given you early rain for your vindication. And he has poured down for you the rain and early and latter rain as before. So a spiritual revival is coming to Sri Lanka. The threshing floors will be full of grain and the vats will overflow with the new wine and oil. I will make up to you for the years and the swarming locusts has eaten. So the Lord will catch up on our economy. The creeping locust, the stripping locust, the gnawing locust, my, that great army that has destroyed, that will be reversed. You will have plenty to eat and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God. So Sri Lankans will praise the name of the Lord our God, who has dealt wondrously with you. Then my people will never be put to shame. Thus we will know that I am in the midst of you, Israel, and that I am the Lord your God. There is no other. My people never will be put to shame. What a promise. What a promise. And here is the revival. I will come about after this. I will pour out my spirit on all mankind. We took it personally for Sri Lanka. We know Joel 2.28 is a famous prophecy. The Pentecost prophecy. But Joel 2.20, I will remove the northern army far from you. I think is specific for Sri Lanka. What has happened in one century in another country, same circumstances come in a an, in an next country, then it happens as the word of God has said. That prophecy fills a time frame in Sri Lanka. God bless you for listening with hope. We'll keep hope up. Remember the live call that has come seeking you. Whom shall I send? And we said, Send me, Lord. God bless you.